In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO3 2 plus Na2 CO3. So we have copper 2 nitrate plus sodium carbonate. First thing we need to do with these net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. I've got two sodium atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaNO3. I have two nitrates, but I have two nitrates here, copper and a copper, and then I have a carbonate here and a carbonate here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, I'll write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, AQ. That's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds, very soluble. But when we get to this carbonate, carbonates in general are not soluble. Sodium carbonate is, and potassium carbonate. But this copper carbonate, it's going to be insoluble. You could look it up on a solubility table, or if you know the solubility rules, this will be insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. It won't dissolve. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. And then again, sodium compounds and nitrates, very soluble. So we have the states for each substance. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Nitrates, the whole thing is one minus. We have two of them. That's two minus. Copper is going to have to be two plus. So we'll have the copper two ion plus two nitrate ions, that's the NO3 minus. Sodium is in group one, so it has a one plus ionic charge. And the whole carbonate, another one that's good to remember, is two minus. So I have two sodium ions, and then I'll have the carbonate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products here, we don't split solids apart when we have our net ionic equation. So that's just CuCO3. And then we had a positive and a negative, so two sodium ions, just like in the reactants, plus two nitrate ions, also just like the reactants. So this is what we call our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see I have two nitrates right here. In the products, I also have those two nitrates cross those out, two sodium ions in the reactants and two sodium ions in the products. Get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for copper two nitrate plus sodium carbonate. I'll clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO3 2 plus Na2 CO3. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus and two minus. They give us a net charge of zero. Over here in the products, we have a neutral compound, net charge is zero. So charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.